Whenever you hear the worst brawler in the game, there is a high likelihood that you think of the brawler Frank. Frank might actually be the most forgotten brawler by the dev team. His last balance change was the changing of his sponge star power from 1400 to 1100 to fit in with the new 10% power level gaps. But this was actually a nerf, as the star power should have been changed to 1463 health. So the latest change to the worst brawler was something that made him worse than he was before the power level changes. But surely he received some buffs before this to try to make him better? No. No, he didn't. Frank's last balance change dates all the way back to October of 2021. And even then, these were just buffs to his gadgets. Although it might be crazy to think about, Frank has remained at the bottom of the tier list for almost half a decade now. If there is any brawler in the game deserving of a rework, it is definitely him. So in this video, I will be proposing almost a complete rework to Frank's outdated kit. But to start off, let's look at what I feel are Frank's main issues. The first issue with Frank is his delay. Although I do not want to completely get rid of this in his rework, his attack delay makes it so hard for him to compete right now. As the game has developed, the brawlers in Brawl Stars have just gotten faster and faster. And with the introduction of hypercharges into the game, Every brawler will eventually have a 5 second window where Frank can not reasonably hit them. The second problem with Frank is his HP. Although at lower levels this makes brawlers like Frank and Hank complete menaces. His large HP acts as a double-edged sword at higher levels. All his HP just means he can survive more shots from the enemies. This may seem good, but when Frank just can't hit his enemies, this just makes him a walking supercharger for the opponents. A lot of times, Frank will just be put in an infinite super chain against brawlers like Shelly or Maisie, where he basically gives them a free hypercharge with one wrong mistake. This HP problem also carries over to Frank's third problem, damage creep. Before a brawler with a ton of HP like Frank would be able to tank tons of shots from the enemies and would have a niche role in a comp with a healer like Poco or Byron. In this role, Frank would act similarly to spawned units where he would just eat up all of their ammo and threaten them back into spawn with a super built up from his tank trait. But with the hyper aggression in today's game and increased damage numbers, this is no longer a viable strat. Even in one-on-one -on -one matchups, there are so many brawlers like Colt, Amber, Pearl, Griff, and Otis who can shred through a tank's HP. Finally, Frank's fourth problem is the problem I will be focusing the most on fixing in this rework, and that is his value depreciating as the game goes on. Frank is a brawler that can somewhat bully brawlers at the beginning of the game, but the moment they build up a super, he can be walked all over. Not only that, but he also needs walls to work currently, and any form of wall break can render him almost useless. Even in a passive mode like Knockout, where you think his high HP will net him a win when the smoke comes in, all it takes is a brawler with any form of knockback or stun to beat him. He is a brawler that overall just gets worse and worse the longer the game goes on. So in my rework, I will be introducing a concept that I feel will both solve this problem and make him even more fun to play. But now let's start my complete reworking of Frank. To start off, I will be reducing Frank's HP from 14,000 to 2,500. This will make a lot more sense later on. But for now, this nerf will still make him the tankiest brawler in the game. Having 500 more HP than El Primo. Next for his main attack, I am reducing the attack damage from 2480 to 2000. The range of his main attack will also be slightly decreased to be equal to Buster's. But in turn, he is getting a slight main attack delay decrease. The delay between his shots will now match his fellow tank, Ash. Similarly to Ash, Frank would now be able to move during his shots, but his super would still have the same delay. Speaking of his super, the final change to Frank's base stats will be a buff to his super damage to 3000. It's always been strange to me that his super did the same amount of damage as his basic attack while every other super that was a bigger version of their basic attack did more damage. In this case, I made his super do 1.5 times the damage of his basic attack. 
which is less than the 1.77 times that Colt has and the 1.92 Shelly has. But unlike theirs, his super would always do max damage if hit. So after all these changes, these would be the reworked stats for Frank's base kit. But the main center point of this rework comes with Frank's new star powers. You see, previously Frank dominated at lower levels, as his high HP and stun was not something beginners knew how to play around. So, to avoid this problem in his rework, I put his new main mechanic in his star powers. And this mechanic is something very common in battle arena games that I am surprised has not made its way to Brawl yet. And that mechanic is stacking or ramping up. One of the key problems I highlighted before was Frank getting progressively worse as the game went on. This mechanic would help Frank mitigate that problem as long as they are able to stay alive. The way this mechanic would work is every time Frank scores a takedown in the game, he will in turn gain a stat boost based on which star power he has equipped. The whole premise behind this is to give Frank a new niche in the game as a brawler that can punish the hyper-aggro brawlers that counter his best teammates. Supports. So any assassin or tank who wants to go in against these supports will now have to think twice. As a single death could cause a Frank player to snowball. Frank would still have his obvious counters though, as this would not eliminate his massive weakness to crowd control brawlers. But my goal with this was to make him more akin to Carl, a non-toxic strong last pick brawler with obvious counters. Back to the stacking, it will have a maximum cap of 10 stacks. I know it's very unlikely for any brawler to go on a 10 takedown rampage, but for those who can, you pretty much guarantee your team a win. On the other hand, the Frank player cannot just try to go all in for stacks, as every time he dies, his stack counter will decrease by one. In a regular game, I expect a good Frank player to be able to hold around two to four stacks. And it was due to this that I chose the numbers of 200 damage and 1250 HP. Because at two stacks, a Frank would either have 80 less damage on his attack than before the rework, or 400 less HP than he would before the rework with the sponge star power. On the screen, I will now also throw up a chart depicting some of the interaction changes these star powers would bring. Obviously, I can't put all 78 brawler on the graph. So, know that some brawlers represent a group of brawlers. Like 8-bit representing all the 10k HP brawlers on the damage chart. Some of the major ones I see on the damage side are with one stack. Frank would be able to three-shot a lot of the medium range brawlers like Cordelius, Otis, Max, and Surge. Two stacks allows him to two, shot a lot of the longer ranged brawlers like Colt Spike and Piper, and barely allows him to three shot 7200 HP brawlers like Bo and Maisie. While three stacks allows him to now three shot some of his other counters like Shelly, Gale, and Chester. Moving on to the HP side, it's a bit harder to do since a ton of brawlers have multiple shots which can miss. And the damage numbers are so varied, I cannot fit all of the data on a chart. So instead, I will be listing off some key points I think will make a difference. And if enough people want to see the data, I will make an Excel sheet link in the comments. But the first key moment I saw with the health star power is at one stacks. At one stack, even with the combo shrooms, Star Power Cord would not be able to take out Frank with four ammo. At two stacks, a Piper with Ambush would not be able to take you out with three ammo. At three stacks, Frank would be able to survive two full Colt Supers and four ammo bars from Leon at point blank range. At four stacks, an Amber would not be able to eliminate you with her full ammo bar. At six stacks, Frank would be able to survive an 8-bit extra credits gadget and two more ammo from 8-bit. And funnily enough, at max stacks, you could survive two Shelly supers and three Shelly shots to the face, with Shelly's third super just barely taking Frank out. But now, moving on to Frank's gadgets. I would like to slightly nerf one and slightly buff another. Since Frank is now able to move while attacking, I feel like his irresistible attraction gadget would need a bit of a nerf. For this nerf, I compared it to Doug's extra mustard gadget, 
and balanced it accordingly. Since Doug's just doubles the damage, I wanted Frank's to only increase the damage by 50%, but would also have the pulling effect. And for Frank's active noise canceling gadget, I would like to compare it to Poco's Protective Tunes gadget before Protective Tunes was a team-wide cancellation for two seconds, while active noise cancellation is 1.5 seconds, but Protective Tunes got buffed to four seconds. So I would accordingly like to buff active noise cancellation to three seconds. And now we have finally made it to the last part of this video, which is Frank's Mythic Gear, Hypercharge, and Predicted Builds. For a Mythic Gear, my concept is closely linked to my rework idea. We know Frank does not get enough sleep as he helps out at the mortuary during the morning and spins tunes at nighttime. So the hard worker Mythic Gear plays off that, being so prepared for the upcoming brawl. Frank starts off the battle with one stack of his respective star power. I wanted this to be a very straightforward Mythic Gear, as Frank is only an epic brawler. Next for his hypercharge, I wanted to play more into partying side with the after-party Mythic Gear. After using his hypercharged Super Frank's hammer will be infused with electrical energy. That would leave two additional shockwaves after every attack, but the additional shockwaves would only deal half damage. But after all that, we have finally reached the final section on what I believe will be Frank's best builds. I feel Frank would have two straightforward builds after this rework, which he will pick based on which brawlers he is facing. The first build would be one to ramp up against closer range brawlers. He would run damage stacks to help him melt tanks and get increased scalings on irresistible attraction. On the other hand, if he is facing brawlers with a ton of crowd control or low damage per second, I feel he will run health stacks to make him feel like an unkillable force. He would also run the active noise cancellation gadget to help him get reliable supers off versus these brawler when they build up their supers. As for the gears, I feel like Frank would have four interchangeable gears. Between his mythic, damage, health, and extra gadget gears, it would all come down to what kind of player you are. But that is about everything I have for this video. Again, I just wanted to thank you guys for all the support on the reworks. And if you like them, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more in the future. Also, let me know what you guys thought about this Frank rework. And again, thank you guys for watching.